Hi, I'm T.L. Sauce and this is another episode of Daily Tea. Thank you for watching. Um, as you can see, we're in our um, rustic tea hut in, uh, in Kyoto. We just had another Saturday practice and um, we're just, well, getting wrapped up with all the, um, <coughs> the cleanup, etc. As you can see, the, uh, the cauldron is still out and, uh, well, a little bit of our setting is uh, remaining, but um, we're mostly cleaned up. Um, I also wanted to inform you more about uh, the launch of our first flush selection yesterday. Um, I uh, sent out a mass email about the launch and uh, actually since uh, two days ago the, uh, the packages for the first flush selection of this year um, were ready so I did a first um, tryout at uh, a local farmers market in Osaka which I tell, told you about already and then uh, finally yesterday I got to launch it on the, Jap on the English website and I'm uh, working on doing that the same for the Japanese website now as well. Um, there's basically three um, different uh, types of uh, sencha that I've selected for this year's uh, first flush selection and um, they're either from the uh, from a seed grown variety of um, the Yabukita cultivar either an, uh, a native cultivar from Nara, Nara prefecture it's a cultivar that's been there for about 50 years and um, nobody actually knows exactly what um, the origin of, of that particular cult cultivar is it's just been there in Nara for um, as long as um, the, uh, the farmers know and then there's the uh, Okomidori cultivar which uh, as you translate it back from uh, Japanese into English, it's uh, a deep green. Um, and <coughs> that is also reflected in the color of the leaf and uh, the flavors. It's a very strong, very deep uh, flavored sencha. Now, one of the specifications that I um, um, give with all my teas, but also um, it is a quite common practice with uh, first flush teas in general, is that there left unblended. Usually you would blend um, the tea of this year together with a little bit of the last year's to get um, a balance in taste and flavor but with um, first flush tea you obviously can't do that because you're offering this year's tea and that's um, also so with uh, the tea that we offer at the tea crane. Um, what is um, also specific of what we do with um, our first flush selection is that it is actually not blended, not even with teas from or with um, other cultivars or other um, that's from other farms. We actually keep um, all of our teas separated per cultivar, per location, so that um, because you're actually having a tea that is influenced and is. Um, has gained a lot of nutrition throughout winter from that soil it was planted upon and from its environment um, it will be a waste to just blend them together and um, lose that enjoyment so what we do is we focus our teas per location per cultivar and um, make sure that you are also able to enjoy um, the flavors of that particular kind and that particular um, environment where the bush was grown. So I'd say uh, go and take a look on the website. The link is in uh, the description down below. Um, we also offer um, a package deal for all three um, types of sencha, which you can get at a discounted price and with free shipping if you prefer. And um, yeah, I'd say definitely check it out and uh, if you get the package uh, it would be fun to actually compare all three uh, types of uh, first flush new tea of this year so thank you for watching subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on uh, new videos and new editions and uh, do go down in the description and uh, follow the link to get um, more information about this year's uh, first flush selections thank you for watching See you on another episode of Daily Tea. Goodbye.